This one next to next to this showing this model here. Let Steve hold that for you. Um, if you if you just saw that, you wouldn't necessarily suspect citrus greening because a lot of nutritional problems can cause that. But this model that ignores the veins where it's dark here and light here, that's citrus greening for sure. And um, okay, this is nutritional symptoms. This is, this is um, a nutritional symptom and and. Um, it may in fact in this case be because the plant's infected with greening, but if you just saw that, you wouldn't necessarily know that the plant had greening. But in comparison, if you see this model, um, that's pretty diagnostic for citrus greening because you can see the model that ignores the veins. There's it's light here and darker green here. It's, and look at it's the an underside. irregular model. And yeah, the, the underside Sometimes you can see it even better than you can on the top. Let's see about that one. That one shows, shows it on the underside pretty well, too. Sometimes I can tell a little bit better even from the, uh, the back side. Yeah, also on this leaf, you can see the notching symptoms. From the psyllid. Yeah, that's uh, from the psyllid. Caused right. by the psyllid itself, these notch formations uh, here also. And another here. thing about nutrition symptoms is that often the nutrition symptoms will be in the whole tree. But if you have citrus greening, it may affect um, only part of the tree instead of the whole tree. For it to be lopsided and mottled, which this one is, and uh, you cut it open. And uh, the seeds don't look real good. And we'll see if it has the bitter flavor. It's not too bad. Yeah, this one shows. You can show it to the Off center. It's off center, no good seeds. That one did, does have some seed abortion. Yeah. Yeah, more aborted seeds. Let's see if that one tastes bad. That one's not very good. Yeah, I, another one off center. I like all my, I like to get as many clues as I can. And one of the symptoms of citrus greening disease is that the fruit has a bitter off flavor. And so a lot but of times- But you wouldn't recommend that for surveyors? Not necessarily. Okay. And again, this is off center. Yeah, that's off center. It's got an aborted seed. This tastes pretty good to me. Yeah, that's not too bad. What about this one? About one out of every six I found that I cut has a nasty flavor. This is another model that, another kind of model that we're seeing with citrus greening disease. And you can see some vein corking, which um, may be due to co-infection with citrus tristeza virus but we're still investigating about that. And also this leaf is badly damaged by the vector Asian citrus psyllid. Is the corking There's another just, model leaf. Susan, is the corking just uh, discolored veins with uh, swollen? They're swollen and they're um, suberized, sort of. Okay. Like, a, like a potato gets suberized, you mm -hmm. know? That's, I don't know if that's the right term for it. What's the right term for it, Mike? It's probably a good term, superized. Yeah. Okay, this is not more symptoms of citrus greening disease. Brings it up over there. Seems to have the the greener leaves with the vein corking, and then also some newer growth that are mu much more yellow. Would that be a little bit more indicative too? It 
Yeah, it might. You know, I haven't. Apparently, CTV causes the vein corking alone in some places, and I've seen that in Key Lime. But in South Florida, I haven't seen vein corking except when there are also citrus greening symptoms. Maybe. Yeah, we've had a we've had a lot of people, you know, ask, you know, why is it called citrus greening, and uh, and it's it's basically because of the uh, of the way their their fruit uh, colors after. An, the tree has been infected. It's just an abnormal coloration, and that's like Susan was saying, where this uh, gets its name. And uh, it's it's also called uh, yellow dragon, right? Yeah, Huang Long Bing. And that's because uh, a whole portion of the tree will become yellow. It's called a we call it flagging in in plant pathology. But uh, when one portion of the tree becomes yellow, uh, that's a pretty good sign that for citrus screening. We've also been calling it sectoring also? Yeah. A that's sector of the tree? A sector of the tree. And most of the time, if you have nutrition problems, you'll see the whole tree has the nutrition problem. That's a real These yellow shoots here, that, and, and that irregular model is almost surely caused by greening disease. The, it's yellow on that side. And this one up here is, is lopsided and it's, it's green on the bottom end. And that's the reason for the name citrus greening is that the fruit doesn't color up properly. So the yellow top, which is interesting. And can you show the shoots? Yeah, the, the, you get this leaf and you think, well, maybe there's a citrus leaf miner underneath there. But you turn it over and there's no leaf miner. And so this leaf is suspect, makes this plant a suspect for citrus greening because it's got an irregular model. But a lot of times you'll see this kind of a yellowing and you turn it over and there's a leaf miner. But in this case, there isn't. Do you have it there? There's a fruit that fell off. You lose a lot of fruit. Roll them. Yeah, this is a fruit stem where their fruit fell off. One of the symptoms of citrus greening disease is that you lose a lot of the fruit. Okay. Is there a stand near her when you in, in our, uh, we've done a number of surveys in Florida for citrus screening, mainly in central Florida area. And we typically uh, look for uh, fruit on the ground and try to see if there's uh, abnormal fruit drop. Uh, we can see uh, in this particular residence, we see a few uh, fruit on the ground. Uh, in another area in Dade County, where there are uh, a lot of trees infected with citrus screening, we're able to find a lot of uh, aborted fruit uh, on the ground. And so that's another thing that we kind of key in on as we're walking up to a tree uh, during our initial uh, assessment of that tree. Very good. Okay, let's see if we see some. Susan, this fruit here looks to me like it's uh, yellow and green, and so it looks to me like this uh, might be indicative, and it's also fallen off the, the, the tree. Yep. And there's and, uh, some other there too. Edward. It's lopsided. A lot of fruit fell off. There's, there seems to be quite a lot around the ground here, although there's still some up on the tree. That would be also mm. indicative. Is that when there are suckers, on the bottom of the tree, since they're vigorous, they sometimes show a lot of symptoms. Mm -hmm. And this here does show it does. some model. And um, we've noticed in survey and some of the trees that, that were quite large and old that were not very vigorous on the top, if you look at suckers that are closer to the bottom of the trunk, they actually show symptoms a little bit better. We've observed that in survey. That's classic greening, especially in Pumalop. Something we've seen in Pomelo, just a minute, that we haven't seen so much in other varieties is that. Wait, hold on. What is it? It's a, it's a model that seems to be peculiar to Pomelo on the older leaves. So it almost looks like it's in between the veins. Does it stay in the veins? Yeah, it's, it's very odd. But we've seen it in Pomelo. 
the dieback here on the, all the leaves have dropped off, empty fruit stems, a lot of empty fruit stems. Again. Okay, if you see this kind of a model on a tree, you think that that might be caused by citrus greening, but you turn it over and there's the mine from a citrus leaf miner. So it's good to turn the leaf over and check. That's been important for the surveyors because if they're not experienced yet, they might bring a lot of these leaf mined leaves. And so we have to make sure that we train them carefully on that. Yeah, that if I can, okay. You seen green? Go green ahead. corking on the pomelo. We've seen that before. Good. So if you look at this leaf, you might think that that's caused by greening, but when you turn it over, there's fungus lesions on the back. And so that's, this polka dot stuff is rarely caused by greening. Almost always when you turn that over, it'll have fungus lesions. And we've seen this kind of thing a lot in Calamundin. So there's the, the leaf miner. You turn it over and there's the mine. And this one is a fungus. You turn it over and there's the fungus. And here are examples of real citrus greening infection. You can see the irregular model. So let me take these out of the way. And you can see the irregular model on real citrus greening infection. That particularly is really classic. Okay, in there. And then here's um, an example of both citrus greening infection and some, some of the fungus lesions that you can tell from cause the polka dot appearance on there. A little bit of vein corking, possibly from a combination of CTV, citrus tristeza virus, and greening. A lot of pomelos have a lot of different, have a lot of seeds, but... That's yeah. also off-color. Did you see the other side? Yep. It actually has a part of it that's yellow and part of it that's green. Maybe you got your knife out. Do you want to cut that? So it's modeled. And it's lopsided. lopsided. We'll see what's happening with its seeds. You got the video yet? Oh, gotta cut it deeper. Might be a seedless one. So, big, pretty big fruit, but very lopsided. Is the core like that typically? Uh, that vacuous? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I don't know if they would have been, they usually turn dark when they're aborted. I think this is maybe just a seedless variety of pomelo. Also see, see how this stem is, there's nothing, no leaves left, only thorns and a few leaves at the top. We've seen this a lot with dieback from citrus greening disease, that you'll have stems with very few leaves and you can see some more like that. We've seen this a lot. Here's a shoot that's obviously compromised. Um, here's a shoot that has little tiny leaves that are all mottled and chlorotic. Um, some unusual symptoms of citrus greening and citrus hystrix. Um, you can see the vein corking, uh, which may be caused by co-infection with CTV. And just we hadn't seen these symptoms before. It's almost certainly a greening infection. It looks like the uh, yellowing is uh, delimited away from the, min the main vein there. 